Hi guys, I know it's been a while. Um, yesterday we have a talent show at work, and so from that day before yesterday, after work, we just got ready to watch the talent show yesterday, and went straight to work with no sleep at all. And I'm so exhausted. I haven't slept for more than 24 hours, so I'm really, really tired. And I wore this shirt. By the way, we went to uh, support our friend Nina. Um, unfortunately, she didn't win. But it's okay. You know, what matters is she enjoyed the show. She enjoyed performing and she did a good job. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you my birthday haulage because it's going to be my birthday next week. And, um, you know, uh, I seldom spoil myself. Usually, I take care of um, more important things first. But since it's my birthday, I want to spoil myself because I've been working really hard. And I've been taking care of my family. So, anyway, let me start by showing you everything um i got from um i, I forgot the, what you call that mall from fairfield fairfield california i think solano town center or something because we went to check out some uh, car um around that area so we decided to go to that mall and i saw uh mimi so if i'm not mistaken a mimi so store it's like a an asian store with um you know like uh it's like Daiso but better. So on my last haulage um I already got this too from Kaya Beauty. I already got this Kara Kara and uh Berry Berry. I said I'm gonna swatch it when I use it but i haven't um used it yet so anyway this is close to ten dollars each and i'm gonna swatch it i'm sorry if it's getting dark because uh it's almost 5 20. so before i swatch it when i went to fair to Sol solano mall um i got the 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 other shades but this one is also kara kara see they're the same they're the same because i really love the shade and you're gonna know why it's very uncommon when it comes to blush and this is the type of blush that i really really want so i'm putting that on the side because it's the same i think they have one more shade i'm not really sure um but i got this four shade from Cara Beauty. Before I swatch, I'm gonna show you everything first so my hands are not dirty. It's not gonna get dirty. Sorry if I'm talking like this because, like I said, I haven't slept for more than, oh my God, more than 24 hours. You have no idea. It's like, you, you know, I don't drink, but the, the reason why I don't drink is because I tried and I hate the hangover. So, not sleeping and working after is worse than hangover. It's like, it's like literally I'm a walking dead. But, you know, kudos to myself because I was able to do a good job in spite of not having sleep. But it's not a good example. So, make sure you take care of yourself because, you know, especially at my age, I'm, I'm in my late 40s. Um, it's not easy, you know, I have body ache, headache, I was falling asleep and I couldn't concentrate, you know, so anyway, let's go back to the haul. I also know that I already have this one, I just couldn't find it, but I'm pretty sure I purchased this when I ordered from Colourpop, but I don't know where I put it, so... Um, I went to, we also went to Marshall's around that area because we ate at Melt's, Melt's Diner or something. So this one is called, um, it's by Colourpop, it's called, uh, Fighting Crime. 
Um, I got this as Marshalls. Let me open it. Uh, and this is how it looks like. It's really, really bright pink. Because I know I, I also bought another shade. So, um, I I don't know. It's, it's cheaper than the Colourpop website. So, I purchased it anyway. So, I have, so I have a backup. And I'm gonna swatch all, all later after I show you everything. And then I got this Colourpop. I put a spell on you. Lip Duo. It's... Um, from the movie, call it back. From the movie Hocus Pocus. Anyway, I have a, I have a one, two, three, four, four sisters. We're all five girls, but my other, oh no, I have one. Hold on, okay. See, like I said, you couldn't focus because you have you don't have enough sleep. So I have. I we're all six girls, but. Two of them are my half sisters, and I have three um, full blooded sisters. And every time they they are not nice to me, cause you know they always have, you always have bully in the family. We all know that, and they are the bully, because I'm the odd one. Because I'm deaf, they always make make fun of me before when we were growing up. So when they're mean to me, I always call them the hocus pocus. So. I bought this because it reminded me of them. Plus, I also love the movie. The original one. Not, not the second one. I don't really like the second one. So, anyway, going back. There was even an incident, you know, when you have a... You do a group chat and, you know, they name it... You know, like, you can put a nickname. I put Hocus Pocus and they got mad at me and said, don't change it anymore. So, they make another group chat for the the three of four of us so anyway i like the design but since i don't have enough sleep i couldn't really understand there's a skull here i don't know what the other two and even the lipstick see I know I saw a scar here somewhere. It said Hocus Pocus. I know I saw a skull. Oh, here, yeah, here's the skull. Since I don't have enough sleep, I, I thought it was Frankenstein. <laughs> but it's a skull. I swear, try not going to sleep for close to two days, and you will understand what I'm saying. So, this is the shade. Is and this is the lipstick. I don't know if it's matte. It says Weenie. Oh, oh my God! It's called Weenie. My best friend is Weenie. Oh, it's a cream lipstick. I should have bought another one. This shade is called Weenie. Even the way you spell the her name, it's like this. Anyway, it's we. It's not really her name. It's her la it's not her last name, but her nickname. Her real name is Rowena. But I call her Winnie, so anyway. It's really hard doing a vlog when you don't have much rest. Oh my god. I I'm starting to do it again, not knowing what to say, so excuse it. Also, um I've seen uh this um YouTuber, um, I forgot her name, but it start with Z. Um, Paj. it's really hard to remember when you don't have enough sleep. Um, but anyway, uh, she's light skin, and she said she tried using lilac, almost lilac. To cool tone pink blushes and it really looks good on her so i decided it that's gonna work for me and because they have one in clinic that she was recommending but the shade is similar to this this is the the rock color source um buildable blush 
and it's in the shade ultraviolet so I decided to try this first how it looks like on me before purchasing the clinic because I, I love clinic blush in fact I have I have a few see I have a few blush from clinic I like clinic blushes I, have, I even have uh, the 301 over here it looks like that so I, I'm really into that but that one is 30 bucks so before spending $30 in the belly on sale I want to see first how this one looks like on me this one is I think um, 5 bucks and I got it at um, I think Marshalls Marshalls or TJ Maxx I'm not sure and I made sure it's sealed so this is how it looks like see it's it's weird when you look at it but you know with lighter foundation and everything you know we're gonna check hopefully it's nice and it didn't say eyeshadow it says buildable blush so i don't know if it's gonna work with the skin tone that i have but with her it really looks stunning so and besides if it doesn't work we're gonna make it work okay so also i got the sephora what do you call this hold on hold on don't you hate it when they put this stupid sticker uh, i got this sephora Second chance number thirty five um blush. It says it's a blush, but I think it's a contour. Contour it says colorful contour. And I know I I'm pretty sure I have one like this in my um you know those magnetic one you have. Uh I still don't know where I put it. Fudge. <laughs> But the shade is really, really nice. It's like a cool tone gray, which is actually perfect for contouring. It's not too brown. You don't, you're don't. you not going to look like orangey. This is perfect. But I don't know if it's going to work on my skin tone. So we're going to test that out. Also, I made sure I bought this. It's sealed. This is the Jacqueline Cosmetic... Um, Perfecting concealer in medium tan and it says pink. I don't know if it's pink. Medium tan and pink. How can you be tan when you're pink? But it looks like that. So I wanna try this. See, it's still hard to open. And this is how it looks like. And it's ready? The food? Okay. What's wrong? It's my son. He called me to tell me that the that the order is ready. Anyway, I have three more items to show you. I got this real technique control your contour blush. It's a three one three one blush. Like you see. You're going to adjust it and it's going to look like this depending on how you want to contour it. So this is really ideal for those who travel and you don't want to carry a lot of blush, brush, brush, brush with you. So um, that's how it looks like. See, you could make it like that, like that, like that, depending on if you want it mini, like mild so it's gonna spread out more and it's not too noticeable you're gonna do it like that if you want it mild like a little you know you could still see it you could do it like that but if you're doing a heavy contour like in a certain area where you just want to keep that spot this is how you're gonna do that so also i got this morphe heat seeker palette um i tried to go to the mall um 
Arden Mall because they used to have a Morphe Morphe store, but they don't have it anymore. So I don't know. I don't know why. Sadly, they don't have it anymore, but it's okay. Because uh, the only reason why I go to Morphe is because they used to sell Jeffree Star there. <laughs> but, you know, um, I stopped buying Jeffree Star makeup not because I don't like Jeffree Star. It's because when I order from the their website, the, the customer service is not good. They they don't answer right away and the shipping takes forever and it's really fucking annoying. So even if I wanted to get more item from the website, I decided not to because because of that reason. Because it's really annoying. And the way they answer is um it's not friendly, it's very sarcastic. You know, so that's one of the re one of the many reasons why. I'm not saying it's Jeffrey Star who replied replied to me, but um, I've I've been complaining before about certain things that I order online, but that's not how they res respond to me. This one is very sorry, but unprofessional. So. My son really <laughs> that's the second time my son look at the look at me to tell me that the order is here. I'm almost done, you wait for me. So they when they know I'm filming they're really quiet. They really know how to show respect. I'm just taking out the the security whatever warning attitude. So This is the second to the last item. I think I'm gonna swatch my blush next time because he's calling me. Because he, he wants me to eat right away because I need to take my meds and for my thyroid. And when I take that, my stomach have to be empty. He wants me to eat now so my stomach will be empty later. So anyway, Here's the Heat Seeker Morphe palette. I think they have it on sale at Ulta too, but it's cheaper at Marshalls. And I made sure it's really sealed. See? It's getting dark outside so you cannot really see the color, but this one is very, very stunning. And I made sure it's sealed. Like I said, they even uh, come, come with this. See? It's like this when I got it. See? So. Because most of the only thing that I don't like when buying a TJ Maxx and Marshalls, most of the items there are open. And some people swatch it. So make sure that you buy sealed stuff. And me, I open mine because I want to make sure that it's not broken. But I don't swatch it because I have respect, you know. So anyway, last but not the least, the most um, special things that I got for myself. I've been eyeing this item since I think June. And finally, I was able to get it. My gift to myself. I got this cute lilac coach bag. And I like it because it's very, very uh, spacey. When you open it, you can put a lot of things. Because I don't see the point why I have to buy branded bag and you can barely put anything. At least with this, I know I can put a lot of my stuff here. This is originally uh, 450 and 550 in Canada. So, yeah. Yes, dollars. Uh, I got, I got 444 dollars so, I'm so happy I saw that bag. But I got it on sale. 
it because it's sold out online so anyway that's it um i hope you guys like it it's really getting dark already so when i do the swatch i want to make sure that the lighting is good and probably tomorrow after work because i really need to sleep see i'm losing my voice but anyway um i still oh i'm gonna show you something too when i was at marshall i, I bought this bag it's 199 for two and i love it so much this is this is my favorite uh i don't think i'm gonna buy plastic anymore when you do the grocery because i'm gonna carry that around because i love it so much i one woman even complimented me on that hold on let me get it this bag oh i love it so much see i got two this is two for one ninety nine. You know when you go shopping. So since we went to, I don't want to carry bags, uh, plastic bags anymore. So I was carrying that one the whole time. So anyway, thank you again for watching and please, um, stay tuned. I know. Um, excuse me. I know that um, I still have to uh, do my, um, what do you call it, my uh, try on video on the Scooby-Doo Wet n Wild um, release. Um, I put it on my last haulage, on my last video, but since it's my birthday month and it's my birthday next week, and also I've been doing a lot of um, Halloween makeup um, I don't have the time to do the Scooby-Doo yet so anyway thank you again for watching I'll see you again next time and make sure to be careful on um, Halloween day when you do trick or treat check the candies and everything and also pray for Israel um, let's not forget that these people needs uh, our prayer you know i know i can't do anything to stop the war or whatever is going on but at least with prayer you know um god is god ever um with god everything is possible so let's pray for the children and those people that are dying and let's not forget about them and include them in our prayers and if you'll be able to help out go ahead um you know let's try caring because most people nowadays don't really care about anything anymore and that's not what being humans are so let's still try to be um compassionate about other people so let's pray for israel for peace and thank you again next time and see you again soon and peace out bye